I was born with a strange gift. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. The line between movies and video games gets blurrier and blurrier every year. Today we're looking at a game that really pushes up against that line. This is Beyond Two Souls for the PS3. This is the latest game by Quantic Dream, the studio that gave us Heavy Rain a few years ago. And if you played Heavy Rain, you've got an idea of what's going on here. It's a game where a story is being told in very cinematic fashion and you, the player, are influencing events as they happen, but perhaps not necessarily being always in direct control of things. This is a game that has used a ton of motion capture and it stars Ellen Page. Canada's and own Ellen Page. Canada's own and Willem Dafoe. It's over, Jody. It's over. Now, the whole thing of these games is the creator of a gentleman named David Cage. Now, people make a lot of fun of Peter Molyneux impressions. I think David Cage deserves it well because he's always like, video games are about emotion, the emotion. <laughs> He is really trying to do something different, and I think he succeeded in a lot of ways. There are a lot of admirable things about this game, but the gameplay is sort of where, I don't know if it falls short, but if you compare it to the kind of game mechanics that we're used to in, you know, crazy open world games, even most shooters, they are much more advanced than in these games. This game is basically an interactive movie with a bunch of quick time events. Yeah, I mean, that. I went into it expecting that, and I think that sells it a little bit short. I didn't, I need your help now. You play as Jody Holmes. Now, Jody has a very interesting companion with her. It's a spirit entity named Aiden, to which she is bound through some sort of odd metaphysical force. The story is Jody's, and it's told in a sort of disjointed timeline. You start at one point later on in her life, when she's 23 years old. You go back when she's age eight, and you drop into her life various points in between, filling out her story, filling out the mystery of Aiden, how she's tied to this entity, what it is, what she does with her powers. You also control Aiden, her spirit entity companion guy. And like, explain what Aiden does. Well, see, Aiden is basically her protector, and he has a very different, almost more free-flowing control scheme than Jody. But that said, Jody does live a very interesting life, and there are some scenes and sequences within this game where a lot of stuff is going on, and I felt that, you know, the action sort of really picked up. Part of my issue is, is I didn't feel that tension in the gameplay because there's sometimes when I know I screwed up and yet it really didn't have very much of an effect. Yeah, and see, that's what he it. does. This is what this guy does. This is David Cage's hallmark. You can't lose a Beyond Two Souls. You can't die. Jody cannot be killed in this game. There are only degrees of success and failure. We're bagging on sort of the interactivity of the controls, but this might be one of those things where it just could be a sort of a gateway game for some people. Exactly. It's the kind of thing you could almost sit your mom down with, hand her the PlayStation 3 controller, and she could play through it. You know, it is impressive because what Cage is trying to do here is to tell Jody's life from a very, very young age to that of a, of a young woman. And there's some stuff in this game that you have not seen before. How did you do that? I learned how to fight in the army. Where the game doesn't really work is when it tries to be a game. The action stuff doesn't work because the game isn't built to be a traditional video game. But in terms of like the emotion and you know the characters and the performances, it really works. I don't want anything to happen to you. I have to say I really sort of enjoyed it. Beyond Two Souls and 8 out of 10. It's a controlled experience, but it's a great story. I'm gonna get Beyond an 8 out of 10 as well.